today's learning intention is to first calculate the magnitude of a vector and secondly to determine the components of a unit vector. Now our national five essential skills are to devise how to find the magnitude of a vector in two dimensions and to do this you'll have to be good with Pythagoras' theorem. Let's get started. So the magnitude, that is the length of a vector, is denoted as shown. Okay. If u equals components a, b, then the magnitude of that vector u equals the components squared, added together, and then you take the square root. So this is just like having Pythagoras in 2D. However, at higher level, we'll now be working with vectors in three dimensions. So if you have a vector u with components a, b, c, then the magnitude of that vector u equals and again, you just take the three components, square them, add them, and take the square root. So that gives you the square root of a squared plus b squared plus c squared. So this is like Pythagoras in three dimensions. Now this equation is not given on your higher formula sheet, so it's something you really need to commit to memory and know how to use. Now a unit vector, they are just vectors of magnitude equal to one, of length one, one unit. So let's try example one. Given the point P with coordinates minus two, one, five, and another point Q with coordinates minus three, minus five, six, calculate the magnitude of the vector PQ. So first of all, we have to work out what is the vector PQ. So the vector PQ is just the position vector Q subtract the position vector P. So that gives us minus 3, minus 5, 6. Subtract minus 2, 1, 5. So the vector PQ equals, so minus 3 minus minus 2 is just minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1. We've got minus 5 minus 1 gives me minus 6. And 6 take away 5 is 1. So the vector PQ has components minus 1, minus 6, 1. Now, I prefer just to add on rather than subtract. So how do I do that? Well, if I'm at point P and I want to get to point Q, we'll look at the X coordinate. Minus 2, take away 1, which gives me minus 3. So the X component of the vector PQ is just minus 1. To find the Y component, if I'm at 1 and I want to get to minus 5, what do I have to do? I need to subtract 6. So the y component of the vector pq is minus 6. And lastly, if I'm at 5 on z component and I want to get to 6, I'm going to have to add on 1. So the z component of the vector pq is the number 1. So you get the same answer and it just really depends how you prefer to work. Do you prefer to subtract, but sometimes you have to deal with horrible double negatives? Or do you prefer to add on? More often than not, I'm going to be adding on. So anyway, now I have the vector PQ has the components minus 1, minus 6, 1. I need to work out the magnitude of PQ. So the magnitude of PQ, look how it's denoted, equals, we're going to square the components, add them, and take the square root. So that gives me minus 1 squared, plus minus 6 squared, plus 1 squared. So using your calculator, you've got the square root of 38. Example 2. Find the components of a unit vector parallel to the vector v, which equals 1 minus 2, 2. So first of all, let's work out the magnitude of the vector v. So the magnitude of vector v equals, and again it's Pythagoras in 3D, we're going to take each of the components, square them, add them, and take the square root. So that gives me 1 squared plus minus 2 squared, plus 2 squared. So that comes to the square root of 9, which you can simplify to 3. So the magnitude of the vector v equals 3. It's 3 units long. Now I want to find the components of a unit vector parallel to v. So a unit vector parallel to v is simply a vector that's a third of the vector v. 
So I've got a third of 1 minus 2, 2. And I take a third of each of the components. That gives me the components a third, negative 2 thirds, and 2 thirds. So that's the components of a, ve a unit vector parallel to V. Now try these questions on your own. You can pause the video, attempt these questions in your jotter, and then come back when you're ready to mark them. Now take your time, be very careful to look over your notes. Okay, hopefully you're ready to go over your answers. The answer for question 1, the point A has coordinates 9, 7, 2 and B, 5, 5, minus 1. What's the value of the magnitude of the vector AB? So hopefully you've found what is the vector AB to start off with before you're then calculating the magnitude of that vector AB. And the answer for number 1 is root 29. For question 2, a vector V is given by the, the component sorry, minus 3, 2, 6. The question was, what is the length in units of 3V? So again, you've got to work out what is the vector 3V by multiplying each of the components by 3 and then finding the magnitude. The magnitude equals 21. Question 3, if U equals some constant K, times the vector 3 minus 1, 0, where k is a constant greater than 0, it's positive, and u is a unit vector, determine the value of k. So hopefully you've worked out what the magnitude of this vector is with components 3 minus 1, 0. You should have found out the magnitude was root 10, and then the constant k is you're just dividing by that magnitude 1 over root 10 to produce a unit vector. So how did you get on? It's time to self-assess your progress. So, can you please put your RAG status in your jotter? Are you red, amber or green? What have we learned today? Well, we learned to calculate the magnitude of any 3D vector. It's just Pythagoras in 3D. We have the equation here. If U has components A, B, C, then the magnitude of the vector U equals a squared plus b squared plus c squared and take the square root. We've also learned that the length of a unit vector equals 1.